Hi, good day everyone. Um, good day to those of you watching this video. This is just a short video to show you all how to navigate the um, SBL resources um, that has just been posted on the LBC Lib Guide. And uh, I'll just be showing you all some of the details and um, just how to navigate the SBL resources. Um, so just briefly, I'll just show you all right now. So the first thing here that we see is um, if you come to the LBC Lib Guide um, under the Introduction to Academic Reading and Writing, um, so you find M resources for MLA, you'd also find resources for APA, but today we just focus on the SBL um, resources. And so for the SBL resources um, here, we have provided some, some videos and also some um, documents that you could also that you could use for the SBL style or to learn the SBL style. So um, the first thing we see here is the SBL handbook second edition. Um, so if you click the SBL handbook second edition, it immediately shows you a short handbook that introduces the SBL style. So right now I'm going to click that. And then once I click it, Yes, it shows me the student supplement for the SBL handbook style. So here you can learn um, all about the SBL style, how to create biblical citation, in-text citations for all kinds of materials. And also, if you scroll down some more, you find how to, you discover how to format your papers in the SBL style. Um, you learn how to format your margins, your spacing, your paginations, your text formats, and then also there's a part there that showcases how you format the front page of your papers in the SBL style, all right? So it, it gives you all of this information. So let's go back. And so again, if you click the SBL handbook, it's gonna like take you to, um, it's gonna take you to a material that shows you um, all the, um, requirements for the SBL style. Now, the second resource we have here is the SBL Word document template, right? So this Word document template just provides, um, like it just gives you a template for um, writing your essays in the SBL style, right? So if you click it, all right? So you can, you have to download it. And then once you download it, all right, you can click it. All right, so this right here, as you can see on the screen, is just a template um, in the SBL style. It just, so all you just need to do is fill up the template, right? It also sets up the, you know, you know um, the table of contents for you. If your professor requires a table of contents and if your professor does not require a table of contents, you can delete it. And um, another thing here, it provides, like the proper headings, like everything is just set up for you already, right? And then it also sets up, you know, many students actually have difficulty with setting up the pagination or the page numbers in the SBL style, right? So it actually sets it up for you. So you don't have to do it yourself, right? You know, as we all know, the first content page um, has its page number at the center bottom, and then the subsequent page has, um, the page number on the top right corner, right? And then the bibliography page has the page number on the you know center um, bottom right there, right? So th those are the rules for the SBL style, but this template just makes it easier for students. You know, all you just need to do is write your essay, right? You don't need to set up the, um, you don't need to set up your essay in the SBL style. Again, this template sets that up for you. All right, okay, so let's go to the next part here. And then the next thing here is you find a video here, right? So this video is by Cleve Barbaric, right? And it um, illustrates how to, it illustrates different ways to approach the SBL style or to format your essays in the SBL style. So it provides the step-by-step -step guide if to, um, step-by-step -step guide to just format your essay in the SBL style. So if you click the YouTube channel right here, so right now I'm gonna click it. 
right? So the first thing you can see, here, if you just go through it, if you listen to the video, um, the first thing, the first thing you see here is, you know, it introduces um, how to set up your bibliography. And then um, the next thing you see here is that if you keep going, it teaches you how to set up your bibliography in the word, you know, in a word document. And the next thing it does here is that it shows you how to set up your bibliography, right? Your your or your reference page in the SBL style using a Google Chrome, um, using a Google Chrome online software, right? And then the next thing here, it shows you how to set up your footnotes, right? And then the next thing it shows you how to set up your footnotes in in Google Docs. And then the other thing, it shows you how to create block quotes, right? And um, the next thing here is that it also shows you how to create your headings, right? Um, or the level of subheadings in the SBL style. And then if you keep going, it shows you how to set up your page numbers, right? Like how do you set up your page numbers? We all know many students experience, experience challenge there. So this video shows you how to set up your page number. And um, it also shows you how to set up your page number in Google Docs, right? And then the next thing is that the last um, part of the video is that it shows you how to set up your um, title page, right? Or your front page in the SBL style, right? So students are encouraged to watch this video. I will encourage you all to watch this video as it's, it's a proper introduction to the SBL style, right? And then if you come right here, so these are like just timestamps for all um, sections of this video, right? So if you want to learn how to, you know, create your front page, right? Or your title page in the SBL style, all you just need to do is click, you know, just click this link right here, front page, title page. So if I click it, right? So it shows me how to create, you know, my title page, right? And then, you know, it goes on and on that way, right? So the next thing here, same thing, right? Title page. If you click it, it's going to take you to your YouTube channel that shows you how to create your title page. You know, if you click page numbers, it takes you to another YouTube channel that shows you how to um, create your page numbers, right? And um, so these are other, you know, citation um, guides that can help you, right? How do you format the footnote citation? So if you click this link, it takes you to a YouTube video. Right here actually provides a guide. It's actually a useful guide that will help students to structure their footnote citation and also structure their um, bibliographic entries in the SBL style, All right? So if I click that, yes. So it brings me to this link created by Seattle Pacific Library. Right, and if you scroll down, it's created by Steve Perisho, right? So this whole page is created by Steve Perisho, right? So if you look at all of this, it provides an introduction to how to cite in the SBL style, both the footnote citation and the bibliographic citation. So, it, you know, if you're citing a book by a single author, right, this is the footnote citation, right? And as you all know, right, if you're citing, um, if you're citing a book more than, if you're citing a material more than twice in a, in a document, right, the subsequent time you're citing, you have to shorten the citation, right? So this is it. And then the subsequent time you shorten it, right? So um, this actually, this is a very um, helpful guide to um, demonstrate how to cite. So if you're citing a book by a single author, this is how you cite it, right? And then this is right here is the bibliography. This is how you would um, indicate this particular source in your bibliographic page, right? Same thing, right? Books by two authors, right? This is the footnotes and this is how you cite in the bibliographic page, right? Keeps going on and on that way. Books by more than three authors, translated volumes, book with one editor, book with two or three editors, right? If you keep going down, you know, article in an edited volume, right? Article in a 
um, first script, right? And then introduction, how do you cite intro, um, an introduction, preface or forward written by someone other than the author, right? So it provides all of this useful information. I would encourage students to use this um, as a guide for the um, SBL citation and um, bibliographic citation too. Okay, so, so I'll just say, you know what, that is it about the SBL style. That, that is um, how you can use the SBL resources in the, um, LBC um, lead guide, all right? So I hope this is useful. I hope you find all of this useful as you grow in the knowledge of Christ. Have a good one.